Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am going to share this. with um, my group. Per usual. Okay, if you pop on, please feel free to say hello, everyone. So I know that you're here. Um, also, just a couple of disclaimers here. Uh, the biggest disclaimer is that, again, I have dogs and they live here and they make noise. So <laughs> my dogs will more than likely be squeaking that toy and um, they may even bark as people pass the window in front of me. So I just want to make sure that you know that also because I am multitasking right now um, there might be a timer that goes off in the back I'm trying to beat that timer because that is uh, my timer for my crock pot food and I want to be done before that so just so you are aware of that thanks Dash for making all that noise um, so I'm the queen of multitasking right now I am literally um, cooking some black rice in the crock pot. If you have not had black rice before, it's, it's delicious. It's also very alkaline, so um, I recommend it. And it's uh, very easy to cook in the rice cooker. I said crock pot, I meant rice cooker. So it's in the rice cooker. I'm also thawing out some lentils that I cooked last week. I cooked way too many and then I went out of town, so I froze them knowing that I wouldn't feel like cooking this week. So I am thawing those out now. I am also talking to you wonderful people and having some green tea. Um, but shorter to long is I'm gonna try to make this video pretty brief, but something that I wanted to talk about with you all because um, it's something that I feel so, so um, encouraged to say. Um, and it's been kind of overwhelming me in the last couple of, uh, couple of weeks, I should say, as I'm talking to more and more people and talking to potential clients, um, people who want to work with me on a one-on-one -on -one basis um, through my health coaching program, I am discovering that more and more people are, um, are very hesitant to say yes to themselves. Um, and I'm always reminded of this quote, um, and I may butcher it, but it's um, more so along the lines of if you stand for nothing, you fall for anything, yet we still, and we, I mean anybody who's human, um, tend to always choose the opposite of what we need to do. And so it got me to thinking about why exactly we do that. Why do we do the exact opposite of what we need to do? Because we all know that we should eat better. We all know that we should exercise, right? Um, even if you're not vegan, I'm sure you have an idea of what things that you can do to start um, increasing your health and things like that. Um, Dash, no barking. No barking. Sorry. Dash and Blue, they just love to bark at our neighbors, even though they see them every day. Um, I hope that's not too much of a distraction. Look at this face. Look at this face. Okay, okay, okay. All right, that's enough. Um, so with that, I believe that um, there's something underlying that is and is really prohibiting people from saying yes to themselves because that's really what it is, right? When you choose to um, improve your health, whatever that is, no matter what the diet is, you are saying yes to yourself. You're saying I acknowledge that I have these issues, these things that I want to improve upon, um, and I'm giving myself permission. I am giving myself permission to embark onto this journey, but a lot of times we don't. And what I sum that up to is, is really just facing our fears. We do not realize how many fears that we have associated around 
any belief that we have that's prohibiting us from taking our health and even our lives to the next level. Um, again, if you're stopping on, just uh, make sure you say hello um, so I can say hi back. Um, and so we're talking about fears and giving ourselves permission to take ourselves to the next level. And um, one of the fears that I feel like comes up a lot is just the fear of being different. And that comes into play a lot when people are um, knowing that they're going to be the eyeball of the group. They know they might be singled out by certain things. Um, you know, people around us don't know how their words and what they say can um, can really impact us, both positively and negatively. But when you're doing something that tests and challenge challenges the social norms, um, people tend to put their guards up. And who wants to be the brunt of that? Nobody wants to be the odd person um, in the group. And we definitely don't want that negative attention. So sometimes we let that fear of being different around our friends, around our families, around our significant others, help stop us from moving forward. Now, our, so how that plays into fact, uh, that plays a huge role into us continuing. And really what that does is stunts our growth because we're so scared that other people are gonna say negative things to us. Um, and we are willing to compromise our own well-being um, in order to make other people feel safe. And that's really what it's about. Um, and being different is not a bad thing. But like I said earlier, um, when you're challenging social norms, people automatically get defensive, whether or not you're imposing your beliefs on them or not. And they will tend to start sh firing shots at you even when you didn't ask for it, and even if you didn't deserve it, just because they feel intimidated. And that's the way you have to look at it. If people start to be challenged or feel defensive about you doing something that is improving your health, no matter how you do it, um, that's them showing their insecurities. When you show up, people are forced to see how they're not. They're forced to see how they're lacking. And so being different is not a bad thing. It's just gonna show you who is, who's intimidated by change and who is going to be stuck in their ways. But it's not your job or anybody else's to impose your personal beliefs on anybody else. You can still do things um, to improve your health without having to um, necessarily make anybody else do it. Um, but oftentimes people will think that anyways, and it's just something that comes with it. But over time, people will start to get over that, and I can assure you that. Um, the other thing is just fear of being, of not getting validated from others. And a lot of people don't realize that we do this, but I talk to people every single day, and they don't say, I have a fear of be, not being validated by others, but it comes up in the things that they say. It comes up in the, the statements that they make around themselves. They're afraid that their partners are going to get upset with them for being vegan or having a vegan diet. If you're here, if you're in my private group or if you're on my business page, um, and even if you follow me on Instagram or YouTube, you have already considered the plant-based diet. And even if you don't think that vegan is the way for you, we could all probably agree that having more fruits and vegetables is a, healthy, is a healthier way to get to your goal. I don't think that anybody can deny that. Um, so if you are afraid that your partner is going to get mad, um, it's because, um, you have a fear inside, you have a fear inside of you that your partner is going to get upset with you for improving your life. And if your partner is upset with you for you wanting to improve your life by having more plant-based meals, then that's something that you have to take a really deep look at because are you willing to compromise your health? and your well-being just so you can get validation from somebody else and to make someone else feel comfortable. Um, sometimes we're afraid, just falling under the validation piece is just being afraid of um, that somebody else is going to reject your view. Sometimes we're afraid to say that we're vegan or we're afraid to say that we eat a certain way. And even I've downplayed my lifestyle in front of other people and say like, well, I'm kind of weird. I eat this way because I was afraid that if people knew 
how I ate, then they would reject it and they'd ultimately um, start conversations that I didn't really want to be a part of or I didn't really want to justify what it was that I was doing. And I, I have to tell you that you really don't have to justify what you're doing. Um, I've escaped many conversations with people who I knew that the conversation wasn't going to go very, um, very far um, just by simply opting out of the conversation. Um, sometimes I just tell people straight up that, you know, this isn't a conversation I think is appropriate right now, you know, and, um, and I think that goes pretty far um, because ultimately if you have two conflicting views about something, then, um, you know, one or both parties aren't willing to really change that view. Um, sometimes it can be helpful. Sometimes people can learn and some people, and sometimes you can be more knowledgeable and sometimes you can gain knowledge out of the conversation. Um, but you don't need to get validated from someone else. You don't need to be afraid that they're going to reject your views because you have to be confident that what you're doing is you saying yes to you. Um, another thing that I hear a lot um, when it comes to the validation piece is people not liking their food. Um, I help a lot of women and a lot of women are, you know, you know, do a lot of the cooking at home and um, or share the responsibility of cooking for their kids or family and whatnot or have a huge family and they cook as well um, or even um, you know social gatherings with the family like Thanksgiving and Christmas um, people are so nervous about people not liking their food if they change their diet they they're afraid of not having the, the same spices or having as much cheese or whatever the case is but you cannot allow other people's opinions or their level of satisfaction dictate how you how you want to run your life. Again, this is all about saying yes to yourself because when you say yes to yourself, um, you're saying, I love myself. I love myself and I love you enough to take care of myself. Um, so those are the pieces about being validated and feeling like you need validation. If you relate to anything like that, then let me know below. Um, maybe you haven't thought about it like that, um, but it's definitely something that comes up a lot when I talk to different people. Um, some people are fearful of being left out. Like legitimately, people just don't want to be left out of functions. They don't want. Um, they don't want to. They're, they're afraid that they're going to miss out on something, I guess is what I'm saying. Um, and I, I was definitely like that. When it changed my lifestyle, I was nervous that I wasn't going to be able to go out, have social, be social with my friends. Because, you know, as you change your lifestyle, inevitably you'll, you'll change some of the things that you end up doing and uh, how you spend your time and the people you start to hang out with. Um, so those are different things that you definitely um, that come up when I talk to people um, and then the fear of changing like this is a huge one some people are so afraid of change they want to change so bad but they're so so afraid to change and this is huge because I heard something one time and they said um, if you don't let go of who you are you cannot become who you want to be if you've always done the same thing, you're always going to get the same result, right? So if, if you want to change and you want the health that you've always wanted and you want the body that you always wanted, hey, Brittany, um, you have to do something drastically different than what you've always done. And that sometimes is going to have to, you're going to have to release some of that food that you used to eat. You're going to have to not eat as much cheese. You're not going to, you're not going to be able to have as much salt. You're not going to be able to have as much sugar. Um, can you indulge in some of that stuff? Yes, but I'm not here to sell anybody a false story. Those people who have the body that you've always been dreaming of and have the health that you've always been dreaming of, they're not in lack. They choose not to put that harmful stuff in their body not having these things in their bodies is allowing them to have the health and ultimately the body that they've always wanted. So it's a mindset shift. You have to change your mindset if you're ever going to change your life. Um, and if you're unwilling to do that, and if you're afraid that 
your food's not going to be as seasoned or you just don't want to let go of the cheese or the milk or you just don't like to not season your food, then you're already going into it with the wrong mindset. Eating plant-based, having a plant-based diet is not about having lack. It's about having abundance. It's all about having abundance. It's all about taking the fruits of 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 the earth and nourishing your body and it's full of flavor it's full of richness it takes getting creative really it does truly and sometimes yeah you you spice it up as much as you can um but you have to be willing to change what you've been doing so that way you can ultimately get to where you want to go um so at some point you have to say yes to yourself um you have to say yes to your wealth or your health, your well-being, um, you have to say yes to your own happiness um, and not allow these fears that we talked about, fears of being different, fears of being validated from others, um, fear of being left out, fear of changing, to hold you back from being the person that you want to be, to having the optimum health that you want to have, to having the body that you want to have, um, because, um, because you are important. You are just as important as anybody else, and you should be putting yourself first. Um, at the end of the day, you have to love yourself. You're the one who has to love you when nobody else is there. Um, you're the one who has to look at yourself naked in the mirror when you get in the shower or when you change your clothes. You're the one who has to deal with your aches and pains um, in your knees from the excess weight um, or having low energy or um, getting shortness of breath when you walk up and down the stairs and being embarrassed when you put on clothes and not feeling comfortable when you try and close in the dressing room or feeling uncomfortable in the bathing suit. You, have, you are the one who has to deal with the emotional stress related to not being happy, not being confident, of being overweight. You're the one who has to deal with that. So you have to realize when you are allowing these fears and these other people to um, come before you, you're ultimately putting all these things last and, um, and you'll never get to your goal that way. So I wanted to bring this up and the way I'm getting like fired up about it um, is because I'm, I'm talking to women every single day because this is something I'm so, so passionate about. I feel like every woman deserves to be happy, healthy. I don't think that everybody longs to be skinny as a toothpick or even like built like a bodybuilder, but I definitely don't think that anyone deserves to have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, depression, um, obesity. I don't think that anybody deserves to have those things. And if all it takes is you saying yes to yourself to change these things, then I, then that I think that's just the next thing that needs to happen. Um, and I encourage you to do that. Um, and sometimes it takes a little bit of help. One moment. Why are you making so much noise? Sometimes it takes a little bit of help. You need a little bit of help in order for you to get to where you want to go. Um, you know, sometimes our social settings, our environment, our significant others, our family, like I mentioned earlier, they're not so supportive. And sometimes you need the help of other people. And that's really, truly where I come in. Um, at, and I, I've said this before, but I like to, you know, talk about it again. As a health coach, um, that's one of the things that I help people do is help them say yes to themselves and, and break through those barriers, those fears that are holding them back from becoming the person that they've always wanted to become. Um, and so in my program, those are some of the things that we discuss because everybody, like I said, deserves to be, to play full out. They deserve to be healthy. They deserve to be happy. They deserve to be confident um, and really truly fall in love with themselves. And if that's something that you want to do, then I encourage you to reach out to me um, I'd love to have a um, uh, schedule a free consultation. Let's talk about your goals. Let's see if we can get you there and at least point you in the right direction. Um, so if that's something that you're interested in, I'm going to go ahead and link my um, link, uh, add a link below so you can click on it and schedule some time to chat with me. Hey, Sabaya. Um, and 
let's talk a little bit more about where you're struggling. Let's get you past these fears. Um, let's start saying yes to yourself because you deserve that. Um, so I hope you guys got some value out of this today. I hope you can feel the intensity because I'm so, so passionate about it. Um, I'm, I'm just passionate about helping people. I'm passionate about helping women get to their, their fullest potential. Um, again, like I said, I didn't want to make this too long. Um, also, my timer went off about eight minutes ago, so I'm pretty sure my rice is burnt. Um, but if you catch this after I've recorded it live, then please, please still say hello. Still put um, any questions that you have below because I'd be happy to, um, to answer those for you. Um, and again, don't forget to click on the link um, below if you're interested in a free consultation um, in, the next, in the next week or so. So um, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll, I look forward to talking to y'all in the next video. Bye.